fun now? Look at you. You're having fun. <laughs> This boy Here had dreamed about uh, buying a saddle and putting the saddle on this particular Mustang. So he, he worked and saved money over time. On that particular day when he finally had his saddle and he walked out to the pasture with his saddle thinking that he was simply going to you know, march up to this horse, um, one of the things that happened you know, really almost before he even got into the pasture is the horse you know, watched him coming towards him you know, put his ears up, was paying close attention to this, to this boy's behavior, and immediately ran to the other end of the pasture. Not working out. Now, one of the most important things that we could do for the Mustang, it would be to teach children about, uh, about those animals and about the environment they live in and how to protect them. If you hold it like this. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, see. But just watch your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> I really do believe they're part of American heritage. Up until three and a half years ago, I would have never considered a Mustang. And then once we got one, it was like we found this wonderful hidden gem. She's a good family horse. She's like um, a sister. When he runs, he's kind of running. Horse that runs really fast. I don't know when I'm going to Texas, but you have to travel all night and all day. You're going to have to get some saddlebags and pack a lunch if you're going to Texas. And some stuffed animals if you're going to go to Texas. And sleeping bags. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Look at the brand. Do you think that was always white, or do you think Cher that was brown before Cherokee got branded? That was probably brown. It was brown, and it grew back white. The best thing about Mustang is probably their heart. They got, they got a lot of heart. I, I, I guess I would put it as a, a sense of openness of the heart that the horses have that um, is very difficult for people to sustain and horses uh, you know continue to provide opportunities for connection and relationship that's just unique to um, the way they are put together. Hey. Hey. Come here. The horses are great to be with because when you're alone and you're really feeling down, you know? It's, they, they don't talk to you, but they can actually sense you. I've heard that horses can actually, like if someone's scared, he can sense that they're scared, or if they're happy, or if they're sad. I've been told that they can sense that. Sometimes he'll nudge me, and it'll make, it'll make me happy and less scared, and he's just a really great horse. Just wish that all horses were like that because he's just really, really sweet. That's what I do love about the horses is that it, they just so emulate what the children go through when they've been neglected and abused and they don't trust and it takes them a long time to trust a human being again. Horses can show the children that and show that you can trust again and I think that they figure if the horses can do it then they can do it. Oh, oh, oh.